You've probably seen this, and this is known as ptosis or droopy eyelid. Believe it or not, this is one of the most common problems. Ptosis usually occurs due to a dysfunction of the eyelid's levator muscle. It's common in children as well as adults. When it occurs in children, it can be congenital, which means that the children are born with ptosis, and when it occurs in adults, it can be acquired. I'll tell you what the possible causes are. Ptosis can be caused by aging of the muscle responsible for lifting the eyelid. It can be due to an abnormality of the nerve that lifts the eyelid. It can also be caused by cysts or tumors in the eyelid, and so on. What can cause ptosis? Well, it will depend on how severe it is. One is the drooping of the eyelid, which can partially or completely cover the affected eye. There may be a reduction in the visual field, since when the eyelid droops, it can be either partial or total. There can also be an unsightly asymmetry, since one eyelid will be normal and the other will be drooping. To treat palpebral ptosis, it will depend a lot on the cause that is making the palpebral ptosis occur. Surgery is done to correct it. If you enjoyed this, please share. Dr. David Campos reporting.